I hope y'all didn't think we were done yet, bro. We still got more of this lookbook to go through today. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Boone. And we're about to be getting into the real juicy part of this lookbook. I'm talking accessories, talking hats, decks. It's going to be a good time, man. So sit back and relax. A uh, big thank you to everyone that watched the part one of this video. If you guys want to see the rest of the lookbook, my reaction, go watch that video from yesterday. I recommend going and watching it because that's all the clothing and stuff. I do apologize that video dropped so late yesterday yesterday but it was it was an experience bro it was an absolute grind to get that one out but I'm glad we did and I promise I've made sure to steer clear of all leaks all photos of these accessories I've seen like one or two but I've done a pretty good job so these are gonna be my genuine first reactions I'm so excited um, tomorrow I will be dropping my resale analysis for the week one release on Supreme and if you guys want a more in-depth analysis of the week one release that's why you gotta go join browser man because every single week I do type up all of my low-key picks. It's also the one-year anniversary of Browser today, so congratulations, my Browser boy. If you're a Browser boy, bro, I need you to stand up and chat. Let yourself be known, but let's just get in this video today. We have a lot to go through, and man, I'm excited. The accessories is one of my favorite parts. I've been blue-balling the shit out of my... That's why I got a blue shirt on, bro, because I'm blue-ball boon today. It's time to... Bust a nut? Oh, I, bro, okay, let's let's nut? begin the video, man. I don't know where we're going with this, but I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's begin. Oh, let's go, man. I'm so excited. I finally get to look at this shit, bro. So we're gonna start with accessories because I just cannot wait any longer, man. Let's get right on into it. Oh my we're just starting it off with them bangs, bro. So funny little story about this one. I saw this in Jacob's thumbnail and I thought it was like a yo-yo or some shit to be honest. I didn't know what it was but um, this makes a little more sense. It's some goddamn spinner. Them 24. You're just talking to me because I stack paper to the ceiling and ride on 24 inch curl. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is actually a pretty crazy one. I am curious what these are going to retail at and how limited they're going to be. Um, I would assume they're going to have crazy resale. The actual design it's a little candy cane for me. I I hate to say this, bro. Like, I'm gonna hold my nose. The V-Loan ribs are harder, bro. I'm sorry, like, I can't believe I'm complimenting V-Loan to start this video off, but the V-Loan ones do go a little crazier, but these are still pretty cool, man. Um, I don't have a whip, so these are irrelevant to me. Not that I could afford this shit. Let's keep going. Next up, we have, uh, what the hell is this, man? The Moringa bed. So I already know this is some shit I know nothing about. What else is new? So this is some kind of Swedish, uh, I, is this an actual bed? It looks like just a huge footrest, but I'm assuming this thing's massive because goddamn the dimensions are huge. Um, just another thing I can't afford, bro. Like this, <laughs> not the accessories I want to start with because these are pretty much just reminding me I'm broke, nice. which is thanks, you know, thanks Supreme. But um, I mean, it's, it's all right. A little obnoxious. Like I'm sure it's going to be crazy expensive. Kind of a weird furniture piece in my opinion. Oh God, bro. Oh my lord, dude, my neighbors are gonna hate me. These are actually insane. Bookshelf, loudspeakers, wood enclosure, um, a lot of stuff I know nothing about. I'm not gonna be able to buy one of these, I don't think. They're probably gonna be pretty expensive. I don't think my neighbors wanna hear me bumping this yeet too loud. Um, pretty cool though, man. Some big baller accessories to start off. Can you save something for the broke boys? Uh, no is the response from this lookbook because we have another crazy one this time the ping pong table Supreme branding on the net is pretty sick It's a little bit of a bummer that the top of it is so like blank, you know I wish they kind of filled it with something um, Pretty cool though another thing I cannot purchase though They do have a ton of big baller accessories so far and next up Supreme Carrera overtop goggles So I'm not too sure what these are actually for um, they look hella weird <laughs> Like I don't know if these are like like for outdoorsy shit or if there's some like actual practical use for these um it's kind of cool though the way they did the branding but let's keep moving oh lord oh god so this is one of the things i have seen already it actually sucks i saw it on my ig feed and i was like fuck bro that's so sick this reminds me a bit of ram lz but um, this is so sick, dude. I actually don't know much about Gundam. I'm probably even saying that wrong. It doesn't even have any measurements, bro. Imagine me having that thing in this back. Or oh my god, that'd be so sick. I probably will go for one of these. Um, I'm actually gonna buy a plastic toy that says Supreme all over it for probably like what a hundred bucks. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's sad, right? Uh, let's keep going. Ooh, okay. I did have a, a subscriber DMing me about this bowling ball. I hadn't even seen the bowling ball until he DM'd me. We got the Revenge X Storm Supreme Bowling Ball. And um, what the homie was telling me is for actual like bowling leagues and stuff, I guess this is like a piece of shit ball, like something about what it's made out of. It appears this is more of a display item than an actual bowling ball, at least for the sweats. You know, I would still roll a fucking not strike with this because I suck at bowling. I got them ramps up. Stop playing with me.
me. Um, but this is, I, to be honest, this one is kind of a letdown. Um, we've had, what, like four or five accessories so far. They've all been just so rinse and repeat Supreme box logos. And obviously that's a bunch of Supreme accessories. But I feel like they could have put a sick all over print on this or something. Like half of the ball is just blank, you know? Like, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of lazy. Uh, so kind of a bummer on that one. And bang, bro, we have the Supreme Skittles. The okay. Supreme is just slowly turning into Costco or some shit. We got like Ziploc. We got cereal, Oreos, you name it. Now we got Skittles. This one, it's kind of hard to get excited about. Plastic candy wrapper that says Supreme, but I've bought sadder shit in my life from this brand. Of course, I'm going to get some of these, but uh, yeah, nothing to get too excited about. I don't know. It's fucking Skittles, dude. Uh, next up, what is this, man? Drawer contain. Okay. It kind of almost looks like a Ramoa. There's going to be some broke boy out there that tries to wheel this through the airport. Um, a kind of cool one. Like, I don't know. I don't think I would buy one of these. Just like a little too loud. Every single accessory has just been re Okay, here we go. You know, as I'm like kind of complaining, we get some wild shit. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We got a bad little 10 piece with the Supreme Box logo going over her bosoms I'm definitely gonna be acquiring one of these man I don't know which color I'm kind of digging the classic crystal but I don't know man all these colors are pretty sick in their own way definitely the best accessory so far in my opinion uh, I definitely could see myself copping one of these hopefully it's not like too crazy expensive but next up we have a, a Stanley saw now we're just talking about how Supreme is becoming a grocery store also slowly turning into a goddamn Home Depot bro like they have every single workwear item you could imagine yet still no Carhartt collab what's up with that man but um, if you need a saw that said Supreme on it and was red there you go. Uh, I, I don't need that, so I'm gonna pass. Um, kind of funny though. Next, uh, okay, you know, a nice little wool throw blanket. Um, this is actually a pretty clean design. I actually really am digging this black and white one, man. Uh, another item I could maybe see myself buying, but man, if I think about some of the other blankets they've done, they definitely come a lot harder than this, to be honest. But um, I'm gonna still give it to them. This is a pretty solid accessory. I'd like to see a little less branding, a little more. Wow, I did not expect to see that, man. Um, a Duraflame log. Bruh. Tell me this says Supreme on the log or something. It's not just the wrapper, because your boy do got a fireplace. So, uh, that this actually might be a cop. Okay, I, I just leaked the next. Is there nothing even special about this? Does it literally just say Supreme on the wrapper? Because that's kind of a letdown, man. Um, I mean, shit, it looks cool i guess i don't fucking know bro uh, i'll probably still waste my money on one but uh let's go back to this megaphone one of those items there is truly no need for you to own a supreme megaphone but um i don't know here uh, dude i'm so far i'm a little disappointed with the accessories to be honest um it's a bunch of kind of goofy stuff or extremely expensive stuff nothing too like usable in my mind so far um going on to the next one we got some paper okay you know i could do some paper this is actually a kind of nice one. I was just saying nothing's usable. You could definitely write a cute little note to your crush and like sneak this in her locker. And if she says no to you still, after like confessing your love on this parchment paper, she wasn't the one, bro. She doesn't deserve you because you are a king using your supreme paper. Nah, but seriously, these are actually kind of funny. I, I'm digging these, to be honest. Actually a pretty cool accessory. 500 sheets too. Like this will last you a lifetime. Definitely a solid accessory right here. Let's keep moving. Next up, a corkscrew. Oh. Okay, no, this is actually a very usable, like, this is what I'm talking about, man. Um, nothing too glaring with the branding. I actually am really digging the way they did branding on this. And this is like a simple everyday use, well, not everyday use. I don't know who's cracking wine bottles every day. Get help. Actually, fuck that, man. You deserve it. Keep sipping your damn wine, but you probably should get help. But this is actually pretty sick. I could use this because you know we're popping bottles over here after we get car declined so I can forget about my misery. Um, I definitely could see myself buying one of these to keep. Pretty cool accessories accessory hopefully not too expensive um okay now this is another one of the accessories i have seen already kind of a cool one man i am actually hoping this is like the water bottle of the season you guys can see over here i have a couple of supreme water bottles i have even more than just this i feel like supreme has been doing way too many water bottles year after year so um if this is the substitute for the season i'm excited um i don't even have a use for these to be honest i don't know who really has these at their crib like that i only see these at like restaurants but you know i'm gonna still probably buy one because i i what else am I gonna spend my money on? Okay, all right. Now this is what I'm talking about, man. This is the kind of stuff I wanna see for accessories. Taking designs from the season, putting big all over prints on random ass shit. Um, this is actually a pretty sick one. I'm sure 
jerseys are not gonna do that crazy because to be honest, Supreme ashtrays, they just don't really do too well anymore. Um, but I don't know, man, these are actually pretty sick ones. We got young YSL shoddy over here, but this one is definitely the one with the gold little trim, man, um, lady in pink. That's hard, dog. I, I definitely think I'm gonna be going for one of these. Next up, we have a stationary set. Like, there's like a stapler. Is this literally just for like paper and shit, I guess? I don't know. Um, kind of a weird one right here. Uh, I'm hoping, I guess, the box has some kind of decoration, but no chance I'm buying this bullshit. Honest to God, the first second I saw this, I thought it was like an AirPod it's case. I, I don't fucking know, man. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, I'm so confused. Is the fuck em, like, not part of this? Wait, what? It's a pocket printer. Who asked for this? Who the, like, bro, who needs a printer in their pocket? I don't even know. I just got so fucking teased, though, my guy. Like, I thought this was some fuck em accessory. I was all excited and shit. No, they just trolled the fuck out of us. Um, hell no. Who needs a pocket printer? I already said it, but like, show yourself, pocket printer owners. I've never even heard of this. Um, what are we doing, Supreme? No, not really feeling that. Next up, we have, again, fuck knows what. Like, who, what is this, bro? A nano flash vibrating motion bug are these fucking dildos my guy like what is going on led light what is it please explain it to me i have not even like the smallest clue what in the fuck this is my guy okay let's what is this bro let's keep going uh okay next up we got a little food jar a little thermos type shit you already know the supreme on the spoon goes fucking crazy but um they've done stuff like this kind of similar um it's cool and all man it looks pretty high quality as well i'm guessing this is like the actual water bottle of the sea Season. Not too excited about the accessories so far. We have food pocket knives. <laughs> kind of a letdown if this is like the pocket knife of the season. Cause like imagine some dude comes and tries to rob you and you pull out a fucking fork on homie. Like you're definitely getting your shit bopped. So uh, it's kind of a goofy one, I guess. And bicycle lights. Something I believe we've already received before in one of those Fox collabs. I could be wrong though, but um, boring, bro. Just boring i'm sorry at this point they do more bicycling accessories than they do skate like what the fuck is this supreme cycling team shit Ooh. okay well unfortunately the tabota i'm not a huge fan um i already have some tabota lighter back here it's zippo gang all day but um this is cool you know it's, it's all right it's a little bit of a bummer that this is going to be the lighter this season um i'd like to see him do a big lighter again man they haven't done one of those in so long but another tabota these are probably not going to sell too well i don't even know which color i really like they're all sort of like eh. oh lordy oh no we're not doing it to them like this folks we got the fucking streaks let's go and they're multi-colored yo that is so fucking sick. My graph boy is going nuts right now. If you don't really pay attention to graph shit, I don't blame you. You probably don't like love this or even give a fuck, but man, this is fucking sick. So um, these are like a little paint marker that honestly can go on just about any surface. I actually have a bunch of these. Art Primo boys, you already know. Um, but usually these are just a solid color. I've actually never seen them sell for retail. A multicolored one of these, usually people have to cut the whole stick themselves and put two together, make a dual color one. They made like a triple, like this is so fucking sick, dude. I'm actually gassed they did these. I still have these two uh, Pilot Markers DS because this is like one of those accessories I just fucking love. I got the spray can. Um, th These are sick. Like this is one of my favorite accessories so far and probably no one else gives a fuck about them. That's just the way my mind works. Stop. Uh, the Skittle shit is not a go. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to like the Skittle stuff, but it's so just like corporate. It just doesn't really feel like Supreme to me when we keep getting these like kind of goofy food collabs. These are especially goofy. Castelli Balaclava, bro. I'm sorry. If you're biking in these, I'm splashing you, bro. I'm hitting whatever puddle there is next to you. Wow, bro. They're really like, how many bicycling items have we gotten so far, bro? Supreme has the biggest boner for bicycling. This dude, James Jebia in his retirement, must have taken up the hobby of cycling or something. Something. he's obsessed with it um nah bro big disappointment supreme has done such cooler cycling gloves boys like there are such sicker ones you could go buy you already know i'm hitting you with that pierre born photo right now go buy those do not buy these bro uh next up wow oh man i'm hard as fuck i'm sorry <laughs> that's kind of weird Wow, oh, bro, let's go. How are the Hanes coming through right now, bro? I mean, Hanes can go crazy sometimes. Definitely gonna be copping these, man. These are actually so hard. I know this is such an overdone thing in fashion, the whole skeleton bullshit, but fuck, I don't care, bro. Um, these go nuts. The white color, definite cop right here, man. Definitely have to get one of these. These are thermal too, like, yeah. 
These are fucking hard, bro. I love waffle thermal. This is a fat W, boys. Let's keep going. Okay, these are a little weirder, but fuck, it's still a W. Um, and I stay buying these thermal pants, and I stay telling people they're gonna resell. That's why you gotta go join browser, bro. I preach to these boys about how easy these are to flip, and they just sit there on the website. Like, these are such an easy cop. So definitely buy these without a doubt, man. XL, gonna do yourself a favor if you hold on to them till winter. Next up, we have Pink Haynes Tees. To be honest, I kind of wish they just kept up the whole skeleton thing. Um, I don't know. I don't need a pink t-shirt by any means. Um, let's keep going. And Oh, I should have guessed it, man. We have the pink boxers next. Yeah, no, these do go crazy, bro. I, it's so, like, basic. It's just pink boxers. Like, I can't believe I'm getting excited for these, but I am, bro. Come on, dog. These are hard as hell. Finally, some underwear that can match my clitoris, bro. I've been looking for it my whole life. Um, I thought the purple boxers went crazy. I still think they're better just because these are a little more goofy, but these are cool, man. Oh, okay. You know what? They finally did a cool S logo item. I don't just fucking hate, man. Now, this is actually nice. I never even thought about it, but we've been needing some S logo accessories. Well, they came through for us. Without a doubt, this purple is the one. Okay, and here we go. We got the pin. You guys know I go crazy over the pins. I've been promising a pin collection video for like several years. It's gonna bang when it drops, though, in 2047. This is cool. There's definitely some other designs this season I might have preferred over this for the pin but I'm still gonna cop one of these also wish we got some different colorways I don't know if I love this color scheme nonetheless though a cool pin oh oh my god run it back that Wow, bro. How is this not a t-shirt? It's actually a fucking crime against humanity This is not on a goddamn t-shirt cuz yo, this is like the hardest accessory I've seen since that paint marker. I know my taste in accessories is terrible, but like bro Yeah, this is so hard, bro. I actually love this the font with the supreme goes crazy the snowman smoking the stogie Come on, bro. This is so sick, bro. This is a certified classic right here I'm sweating looking at this shit so far and it's cuz hot as fuck outside. All right Next up, we're getting into skate decks. I actually totally forgot about the decks. Um, we got the spaghetti. All right, these are so goofy, but I somehow like it, bro. I don't know. I think it's actually kind of dope. Um, I'll probably be copying one of these, but skate decks are kind of down bad with Supreme. Um, they have not been selling lately because they just make so many nowadays. Well, I told myself today was not going to be a fat video, but it's been already like 25 minutes of recording, so... <laughs> Fuck, but all right, let's keep going. Lady Pink Supreme Skate Deck set. I know the last Skate Deck set, I believe his name was Dan Cohen, um, is actually doing pretty solid. I'm guessing this could be sold as like a complete set. Um, if that's the case, actually a chance for it to resell, man, but um, who knows with Skate Decks anymore, bro? It honestly all has to do with supply rather than design. Even like some of the coolest designs, like the sticker one from last season. It's an absolute tank now just because so many people buy these to just sell them. No one skates them because supreme decks are dick and the quantity of them released is just too high nowadays so um i don't know it's whatever for a deck uh not my favorite design i think we've seen this design a little too much at this point i'd like to see something else on the deck but okay next up a supreme yankees airbrush i wonder who actually airbrushed these i don't think i'm gonna really be copping them i hope this isn't like the logo deck because I don't know, bro. It's not really like the craziest for me or nothing. Uh, it's all right though. Fuck the Yankees. You guys Ben heard me say that. Uh, oh yeah. No, see like this is what I'm fucking talking about. Another Weirdo Dave design on a deck this time. These are and like the fact that each one of these is a different collage. Like I talk about going above and beyond. I'm sorry, Weirdo Dave carrying this season, bro. I hope they somehow add in even more Weirdo Dave shit. Um, I've been putting on for Weirdo Dave. The fact he's now carrying this season is kind of sick. I love it. Um, these are fucking hard, bro. Uh, every color goes dummy. Like, I actually fucking love these. Love the color choices. I No complaints. These are so sick. Whatever this little dude is right here, I'm fucking with him. This chick, fucking with. She got a gun in her mouth. A booty. Like, let's Let's go, Weirdo Dave. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, here's... Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm here for him, bro. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, only real ones really get this, like, little cloudy background. These are going stupid, bro. I need to get this Sky Background Supreme Shrek deck. I love it. Never in a fucking billion years did I think Supreme and Shrek would have an actual collab, bro. Like, I just... It's so sick. I love it. Where's Donkey at, though? We need the Donkey feature. Come on, son. Ooh, okay, at first I thought these were Paisley. How did Supreme not do Paisley logo decks? That would have gone so dumb, but these are kind of cool, man. I don't, like, love the Celtic Knot shit. Like, it's not my favorite all-over design, but these do look pretty sick. They're probably going to do pretty decent. I would guess the light blue, although the black looks the best without a doubt in my mind. 
Um, these are not too bad a deck so far. This is my least favorite deck, man. I just don't really like this design, to be honest. It's too dark, and there's so much black in it. There's not even enough color. I just don't really enjoy it. Nonetheless, it literally looks like I fucking drew this. So next up, um, oh, wow. So they switched up the wheels mega hard. It's about time, man. They've been selling the same wheel designs for fucking years at this point. These are interesting for sure. Okay, here we go. A white color as well. I think I like the white ones a little more. Really fast now. Let's just go through the hats to end off this video, man. We have been going forever. I'm going to go kind of quick with these. Uh, velvet. I ain't got to say it. I just don't like the material. Um, these are okay, actually. Not too bad. Next up, we have the Ventil S logo. Uh, they're all right, man. Um, I really hate this design on the side looks horrible but that khaki color is kind of nice Harris tweed classic logos these are kind of interesting um, I wouldn't really wear them but a cool little take okay these are actually kind of cool I could see these doing pretty well to be honest um, I hated the t-shirt version of these but the hats actually pretty decent Ooh, okay Wow these are actually pretty hard man Gore-Tex corduroy I don't even know that's a thing like what the fuck dude? I so don't understand what Gore-Tex is how does Gore-Tex apply on the corduroy like Please explain to me, bro. Um, these go nuts. These are actually really sick, dude. I'm pretty hyped for these. I would love a Gore-Tex corduroy jacket or some shit. Like, where's that at? I don't know. Uh, sick, though. The navy is kind of the one catching my eye here. That orange isn't too bad either. Um, wool S logos. We haven't seen wool S logos for a while. Uh, they have done them before, if you were wondering. But these are probably going to be pretty nice. Oh, man. I was totally roasting this design before. Like, the studded uh, velvet jackets. But the hat... I'm not as mad about man. This actually looks kind of cool for the hat in my opinion. Um, I don't know if I'll actually buy one or not. And bang, next up the Arabic Logo 5 panel. Now I am a little bit salty because I am an owner of the original Arabic um, 5 panel hat. So I'm not like over the moon they're re-releasing it. This is Miami color bro. I just love it for the Arabic logo. This Lakers one's probably going to go nuts. Um, all the, even like the brown on baby blue. That's pretty sick man. I actually really am digging these. Um, pretty cool. Is that chenille patch too? Yeah, these are hard bro. Oh yeah. No, this is one of my favorites so far in the hat section, man. I love trucker hats, obviously. Um, these are fucking sick, dude. I definitely need to go cop one of these. Telling you guys right now, very early resale prediction. These will shock you how well they're gonna do on the market. Trucker hats from Supreme hold so well. You heard it here first. I promise you on that. Pink color, gonna go crazy, but I'm getting that blue or black without a doubt. These are so hard. I almost, that pink too, bro. These are fire. Loving these, bro. These are actually so sick. Oh, wow, so this is the new era. Uh, this one has gotta go. I'm sorry, can't do it. Black is not bad, but I just, I'm not like in love with this graphic or anything. I'll still buy one. What am I saying? I'm still gonna buy one. Let's not kid ourselves. I fucking hate the Yankees so goddamn much, but these go nuts. I knew there was gonna be some kind of Yankees fitted. When I heard about the collab, I think all of us could assume there was gonna be a Yankees fitted. They actually did these pretty well, man. These are sick, definitely gonna sell very well, especially because fitteds with MLB teams are huge right now. So definitely a cop, man. Uh, these are actually so hard. There are so many box logo fitted. They're cashing in, I swear to God, on the fitted wave right now. Um, the underside brims are going nuts. Nice attention to detail from Supreme. Um, these are actually pretty sick, bro, with the opening day on the side. Um, next up, okay, these are actually kind of hard. You're shocked I said that. I am too, so don't worry. Wow, new Kangles. Uh, I made so much money on the last Kangle bucket hat like this. I sold, so you already know I'm there for this part two version. These go crazy. That brown looks delicious. I'm loving these Kangle collabs, to be honest, even though I would never wear them. Okay, the rest of these crushers are buns. Okay, these are actually nice, though. The boonies pretty sick I'm at, these are hard dude I love them um, I'm not even mad about these so that is gonna do it for the entire lookbook we're finally finished with all of it that was a lot. That honestly took so much longer than I expected, but I hope it was worth it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to join my cook group browser, I'm going to be posting a shitload of giveaways the moment this video goes live. If you guys want to join, enter some of those giveaways, and also just participate with the group for the opening of Supreme, hit the link in the description, man. I love you guys for watching all the way through. Thank you for watching my lookbook reactions. Those people that tell me they're looking forward to it or waiting for it all day, it does mean a lot to me, man. It's kind of crazy to have people like even think about you like that. So I I really do appreciate those that put on for me. Let's get this season started. I definitely just woke up my cat. Sorry, kitty bomb. Hi, and I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna log this one off. I'll see y'all week one live cops. Better boy boot. I'm out. Peace.